What's happening, viewers and viewers? This is your boy Big Mike coming at you again outside on a beautiful day in Ohio. There's my barn back there, and somewhere back there, my dad's mowing the lawn. All right, and there's my garage where I do all my mayhem and murder. So, all right, anyway, I'm gonna be showing you the next Jason mask that I did. Um, and get your takes on it so it didn't come out the way that I had planned yeah it looks pretty good I think again I did it so hence the reason for my video here wanting other people's opinions on it so now before I show you the thing um, the idea was Something that Jason made himself. Like maybe he tried forging a mask out of metal. And had I done this a little bit cleaner, I think it would look much better. But I still think it looks kind of badass. Um, yeah, pretty much. Uh, so... And I kind of did my own little paint scheme on it, too. But, there we go. It kind of looks like the dude from, um, Mad Max, I guess. But, that's that. So, let me tell you what I did with this. Um... Obviously, as you can tell, the holes are not the same. I took a room designing um, stencil. And, well, you see the teardrop shapes on them. Not all of them have it, which is why I wanted to make it look like something somebody made rather than something that somebody bought or whatever. But, um... So there was a teardrop shaped uh, stencil on the mask or on the room designing thing that I had and I used that to mark out all the holes there. Um, the eyes obviously I cut them out in a triangular shape. I melted the brow and I had hoped that it would all go in you know, the same, but, you know, it didn't work like that, but I think it still looks cool. Um, and then the nose, I pushed the nose up by melting it, and I used a paint scraper to kind of push the nose up, and... Well, it looks good. You can obviously tell it's been modified. Um, I was thinking about maybe when I was in the beginning of this, I was thinking about maybe um, boiling the mask so it was kind of like malleable and then hammering parts of it make it look like it was forged. But, yeah, I didn't... Didn't want to do that. <laughs> For reasons I won't go into. And look, you can see like solder marks. Um, I kind of wish they stood out from the mask a little bit more than what they do. And uh, I used the um, technique, one of the techniques that uh, Big Hush uses. So thank you, Big Hush. If you can tell all that little flecking kind of looks like pock marks and stuff. I did the uh, water bottle spray and spray paint and got that look to it. So I got some other things to do before I work on some other masks. Um, but please comment, like, subscribe and comment. Um, let me know how you think I did on that mask. Again, give me some more ideas, please, for some 
Jason style masks and uh, well I thank everybody for watching as always so have a good day and I'll talk with everybody later on